and hello everyone welcome back to a new video today i will be reviewing some of my favorite code editors that you can get on linux all links are in the description number five Gini. Gini is a very lightweight text editor with it only needing about 60 megabytes of ram when running it's a lot like notepad plus plus in terms of looks and feel and it is easy to learn with no real learning curve. Here are a few pros and cons of using Gini. Pros. It is very beginner friendly. It supports a lot of programming languages which includes Java, JavaScript, PHP, C and Python. It has a super fast compiler. It has basic color coded text. There is almost no distractions and you can get user input in languages like java also something i really liked about this was when you choose a template for a piece of code it gives you your own copyright code at the top of it which is very nice cons auto closing brackets is not automatically enabled and you have to search through the settings in order to enable it Curly brackets only closes when using CSS. The autocomplete is terrible. Tab indenting is faulty. And when you open previous project, it doesn't import all the files of that project. Overall, Gini is a good code editor for those who has a slow PC or just want to do some basic text editing. Coming in at number 4, we have BlueJ. BlueJ is a perfect Java code editor for beginners. It has an interactive user interface and gives tips whilst coding. Here are the pros and cons. Pros. It gives you a template of comments explaining the code to you, which can teach you a thing or two if you are a beginner. It is extremely beginner friendly. So much so that it color codes the blocks of code, making it easier to see what's happening in the code. It is quick to spot errors. It makes it easy to link classes in different files and also helps you to stay organized by providing you with a GUI. It can get user input when asked and it is fairly lightweight using an average of 300 megabytes of RAM. Cons. It doesn't auto-close anything. The autocomplete is very buggy. It has a slight learning curve and it mainly only supports Java, which means languages like HTML or JavaScript won't really work on BlueJ. Number 3 is Eclipse. This is a very popular Java IDE. Great for those who are prepared to create bigger projects in Java. The pros. It gets errors super fast and in real time. It fixes some errors for you. It has a basic but working autocomplete. It auto closes brackets for you. It changes colors depending on your computer theme, which means light or dark mode. And the user input works perfectly. Cons. It is not very lightweight, using around 800 megabytes to 1 gigabytes of RAM. It has a fairly steep learning curve so beginners might struggle to understand it. And it has not a lot of support for other languages than Java.
Coming in second in the list is Visual Studio Code, also known as VS Code. Visual Studio Code is an amazing code editor with support for tons of languages. Pros VS Code is very customizable, in fact, the most customizable in this list. It has a great autocomplete, most likely the best of the list. It has beautiful color coded text. It is also very user friendly, for example, it gives you tips on what specific commands do or in case you forget or wonder. It is the best CSS editor I have ever seen in my whole programming career. It supports multi-cursor which is a really useful feature for people who likes to code. It gets errors in real time. Cons It has quite the learning curve, almost as much as Eclipse. It is not lightweight at all, using more than 1GB of RAM on average, meaning low-end PCs will kinda struggle to run it. It has no pre-installed code templates. And finally, coming in at number 1, we have Sublime Text Free. Sublime Text is a low weight code editor, using about 100 megabytes of memory on average. Is this extremely beginner friendly and has little to no distractions? But that's not all. Now let's actually get started with the pros. The pros. Almost no learning curve meaning people moving from Notepad or Notepad++ will feel right at home here. It has code templates for some languages and more that can be installed. It is very customizable in terms of functionality. It has an autocomplete for most languages and you can install more if you do need it in a different language. It has a very useful navigation on the left side of the screen, which I found myself using a lot once my code has over a thousand lines of code. It is perfect for web developers, giving you these small edits, these small features that you wouldn't think of, but will always use. It has beautiful color coded text, probably one of my favorites I've seen on this list. It supports multi-cursor, which is very important for people who do programming. It auto-closes everything for you. It has a very small inbuilt features that you normally wouldn't think of, but does in fact get very useful. Cons You need to install packages to support some languages which isn't always the easiest thing to do. You cannot always get user input without installing packages. For example, Java needs some packages in order to get user input. Getting errors isn't always very fun. Those were my top 5 code editors for Linux. Did you maybe see one you like? Or do you already have one you enjoy using? If you maybe have one that I didn't show in the video but you also think is pretty good, leave it down in the comment section below. Thank you all for watching. See you all in the next video.